Hey guys, this is Buck Weezer. We're putting the do in the do-it-yourself and I'm going to show you how to replace the plastic carburetor on this Briggs & Stratton engine. Now this happens to be a Craftsman mower but this engine with the plastic carburetor is found on all kinds of equipment, makes and models, lawn mowers, pressure washers, but sometimes you can clean them out, other times just replace them and that's what I'm going to do right here and it's so incredibly easy. So I'm going to zoom in right there on that air cleaner assembly and I'm going to show you how to do this. Open the air cleaner and remove the air filter. Next we got two screws that are 932's. Not 5 sixteenths, just one step down from that, 932nd. And they go into the plastic carburetor. So when we reinstall it, you don't want to go nuts, they're just going into plastic. You don't have to tighten them that much. Next, your 5 16th socket, we're going to get one, two. These are holding the air cleaner up onto the uh, bracket. And these are going into metal. But either way, you don't have to tighten them down that hard. And with this second screw coming off, we'll be able to pull this plastic uh, air, air cleaner assembly right out of the way. All right, so he comes down. There you go. This is where the breather assembly, uh, breather tube bolt uh, plugs into the back of it. So just move him out of the way. Now the carburetor's loose and you can kind of uh, pull it out. But what, what I want to do is I want to clamp off the fuel line right here. And then I'm going to take a pair of pliers and move that fuel out, out of the way. That, that fuel line clamp. All right, so we've got to take that hose off. Like so. Now there's two linkages up at the top. I want to make sure you can see them very well. Right there at the top. So we got this one which is our automatic choke and the one behind it is our throttle. And those two have to come off. So that's our next step. That's actually all that remains in taking this down. So now that the carburetor is unbolted, you can twist it as you need to to pull off these linkages. There you go, and the old carburetor's off. Now you could get a rag and clean up in here. Some of the grease or grass or built up grime. That's always a good idea. Okay, back here is an O-ring, and that can stay on there, although the new carburetor generally comes with a new one. So it's up to you if you want to change that or not. See, I'll take that off. See? All right. So here's our new carburetor. I bought this for $10 or $11 on eBay. This is an aftermarket Chinese made carburetor. And uh, you say, well, why don't you buy genuine Briggs and Stratton? Well, that's a good thought. The answer is, I don't need to. It's just plastic. There's almost no metal components, and I feel I feel fine using the, uh, I don't actually think I need this O-ring because I've got a gasket right here. Anyway, I'm happy with these aftermarket carburetors and if your machine's not running, it's so easy to swap these out for just a couple of bucks. All right, I put the throttle cable back on. This is kind of maybe why it would have been nice to take that cover off. But I think we'll be all right. All right. So now I'm going to just connect this linkage here on the choke, and that's in. Before I push into place, I'm going to connect the gas line, like so. 
move the clamp back in place and slide it back. That's it. Slides on that tube in the back and it's all set. Now we can put this plate back up. The air cleaner assembly. Gonna make sure our breather tube plugs into the back there. All right. Okay, so then you remember the two 5 sixteenths right here. Okay, and then two 932nd screws right here. And we won't torque them down too much. Like I said, we're just going into plastic. Just till they seat. All right, that's it. Air filter goes back on, air cleaner cover, unclamp our fuel line, and we're ready to test it out. And success, it's running great again. Thanks for watching, everybody.